Well, hello, Teacher Kenny here. We're going to cook chicken today. I'm going to show you an easy way to make awesome, awesome, awesome fried chicken. Um, we're going to use kind of like a batter. We're going to use an egg. And I'm going to show you some seasonings here. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. And if you do what I do, you're going to make some really, really good chicken. Okay? Better than Kenda G. Better than Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right. The first thing I'm going to show you, I got right here, a little bag of seasoning. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Well, and I got a bag of seasoning, and we got to add some stuff to it. And I'll show you what we're going to do. Uh, you guys back home, this is flour. Um, and fun. I got to add some flour to my seasoning. I got to freshen my, my little bag of seasoning back up. So I'm going to add some flour. And I'm going to add some chicken seasoning I'm going to show you. And let's see, let me get some flour in here. I'll go just use the, what's left in this bag. Not as much. Anybody can do this. Anybody can make this. Okay. What I do, I go down to the store, and uh, you guys back home uh, in America, the McCormick, um, Right here, the crispy, crispy spicy is really good to add to the flour. Uh, here in China, this is also really, really good to get it at Walmart and other places. And I'm just going to add this. I like about, it's hard to get half and half, half seasoning and half flour. Uh, but if you can get uh, about, oh, at least get a third flour or a third seasoning to the uh, to the flour. Uh, what it is you can smell it. If it smells like flour, you don't have enough seasoning in there. And besides the seasoning, we're gonna put a little bit of pepper and some stuff. Um, but let me add this real quick. I said you'll know you'll be able to smell into your bag of seasoning, and if it smells has a good aroma of the seasoning you're using, uh, you're on the right track, okay, because that's a big, big, big part of chicken, because all chicken is the same, you know, uh, chicken, Chinese chicken, American chicken, it's all the same, so what makes the flavor is what you do to it, usually I get a bad case of the sneezes, and this is going on. So I may be sneezing here in a minute. Hang on just a second. Okay, so what I've done right here so far, I mixed my my seasoning. Uh, remember, uh, at least a third seasoning to the flour. Half and half is really good. If you can get half flour, half seasoning, it's cool. But anyhow, the main thing, if it smells good, not like flour. If it has a good, rich uh, smell, you know, a good aroma, it means your seasoning is taking over. So that also means that when you dip your chicken in there, uh, that you'll have flavor. Because just flour, flour has no flavor, so you have to put the flavor in there. But we're going to do some extra things I'm going to show you here in a minute, and how we're going to make this chicken very delicious. So uh, hang on, i got to stop the camera again, and I'll show you how to get the chicken ready. Okay, the first thing we got to do, we got to get a bowl. We're going to put our chicken pieces in and put some egg in here. And usually two, two of these, two, no, so a full breast, uh, need about three eggs. Okay, and this will be, some people add milk uh, to batter. I've never done that unless maybe with fish or something. Uh, main thing we're gonna get some egg in here. What's gonna make that pretty KFC uh, 
take fried chicken looking crust. The it's gonna rise and make a real fluffy crust. The egg will. So anyhow, you know, we got this here. All right. Now one thing I'm gonna do is back home. Uh, we have Cajun seasoning, and I want tonight. I'm gonna make this Cajun flavored. So I'm gonna add some Cajun powder directly into the egg. Not not in my seasoning that's going. I'm gonna put on the chicken later. The flour I'm gonna put on the chicken. I want this right here on the meat. Cajun seasoning has a really, really rich flavor. And if you do this right, it's gonna make the chicken so cool. Uh, now you don't have to do this. This is just me. I'm a you know from southern United States, Arkansas, and I like a little flavor with my chicken here. So anyhow we're gonna put some Cajun Cajun powder on here. Alright, so now it doesn't look like eggs anymore. But it's gonna taste really, 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 really good. Let's see. You can see this. Now cooking for me time is everything. Time is everything, so I like to cut instead of big pieces, I want I like small small pieces of chicken that cook quickly. So first thing whatever we'll make we'll cut some chicken up. What I don't eat tonight, I might eat tomorrow for breakfast. You see just nice nice little thin you can see this, nice little thin pieces of chicken and It'll cook really, really fast when we get it on the grease. Let's do one more here. Like I said, what I don't eat with the meal, uh, I might eat tomorrow for breakfast. If I had students here, this is about enough for about you know four or five people, if you, along with all the other food. So, got my got my new knife here. Uh, cut some pretty good pieces. These small pieces cook really good. And we're going to do something special with this batter also in a few minutes. I'm just throwing the chicken in here right now. And cutting these small strips. Take this a second. So that's about as big a piece as I'd ever want right there. Uh, but it's thin, it's thin so it's going to cook fast. Uh, this other one here. I bought this knife the other day, and it's a uh, fairly heavy duty. I always cut some slips into the skin, like it takes the seasoning and stuff better, cooks better. Here I'm just cutting the, the breast in half, where I can manage the pieces, keep them small. Put myself in there, all the chicken in the bowl here. With a Cajun seasoning, uh, if you knew anything about our cooking back home in America, uh, Cajun has such a good, rich flavor, and it has many, many uses. Alright, I'm going to stop the camera again. Okay, we're back here now. Alright, I've got the chicken in here and the egg with the Cajun seasoning that I'm going to use. And you can also, uh, I've done this also, you can take this pepper right here, this like this uh, pepper powders, uh, kind of red pepper powders, and you can do the same thing. Just always got to be careful of anything that has pepper, obviously, because you can get it too hot. And the same way with the Cajun seasoning, if you use Cajun seasoning, if you buy some Cajun seasoning, uh, you can make it just too dang hot. All right. Now, and you know, with Kentucky Fried Chicken, you get this big, thick, pretty crust and everything. Right. And sometimes, some of these, these places, uh, they double, double dip. You know, they'll take the the chicken, I put it in the 
flour or whatever, and then they put it back in the egg or back in the batter or whatever. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simulate double dipping. And what I'm going to do here, and this is what separates the men from the boys when it comes to cooking chicken. Uh, I've cooked so much chicken, and I'm always looking for a better way to uh, to come out with a good uh, with a good effect. All right, now if you look here, I got the three eggs. Maybe just a little too much egg, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let a little bit of egg out. Some of that egg is actually water off the, some of that that's in here is some water off the chicken. All right, now, before I put the chicken in, in my bag, uh, seasoning right there, I'm going to simulate double, double dipping. So I'm going to grab a handful of my seasoning, and I'm going to put it right in here with the chicken, just like this. All right. Now what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to, this is simulating me double dipping the chicken. Uh, and it's starting to make it thicker. And the idea is you get a kind of a, a, like a little paste going right here. And then when you put it in the bag, this is what's really going to make this chicken fluff up. Now while I'm doing this, I'm going to turn some fire on. I'm going to let my grease start warming up. So see right here? Now, this is nice and thick. Alright. So what we've done, we've just taken a step out of the normal cooking, uh, the normal process. Killed some extra birds here. Alright, now, let's get the chicken. Let's put it in our bag of seasoning and just like this see what I'm doing I'm going to put it all in here and we're going to shake it up so I'm going to put some in here and now I'm going to roll it around a little bit just like that and we're going to add some more see look how see how thick that is it's really really thick now and when I put it when we finally do cover it up with all our seasoning in here, um, and I put it in the oil, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to taste good. It's going to look beautiful. It's the prettiest chicken you've ever seen. See right here? And just, just keep your bag. It doesn't have any holes in it. And I just want to start shaking this stuff up. So it's nice and, nice and thick, and that's exactly what we want right here. Just like this. And I'm going to shake it up. And here in a few minutes, you'll watch me cook it. Alright, see? And I've used up all my eggs. Alright, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, my, my grease is hot. I'm going to start introducing chicken to the oil. Gotta have enough oil to cover your chicken. I'm just supposed to fry up nice and pretty. So, here we go. This stuff's going to look really, really, really pretty when it starts getting done. Now remember, also guys, that when chicken is done, it's going to turn white. The meat will turn white when it's ready. Got a lot of chicken here. Put a little here. The piece there. Now I'll cook the rest in a minute. So that's our first batch cooking right there. And I'll show you what the, all this is going to look like. Away. I'm 
you first put it in there, don't touch it. Let it start looking like this. See this? It's turning into KFC style chicken right now. So when you first put it in there, just let it sit. See, see how pretty it's already starting to look? That's, uh, that's what the egg and all your seasoning is doing. I don't know if you're timing this, but um, well, it doesn't take long. These small pieces of chicken stuff cook really, really, really fast. And what I'll do here in a minute, I'll check some pieces and I'll put in a plate with some tissue. We don't have paper towels this time, I'm going to use tissue. This chicken, you're watching in real time here. It doesn't take long. Usually what I'll do is I'll check a, a piece right here. And let's see what it looks like. White already. You see this? It's already done. So that means I'm going to be taking it out. Taking it out here just a second. It just doesn't take too long. I don't want to get my grease too hot. Turn it down a little bit. I'll uh, pick another piece. Here's one of those thicker pieces. Let's see what this looks like. Look here. white. That's done chicken. So now, we'll pull this out. And we got I always check these thick pieces though. Uh, right here, see? Nice, pretty and white. The worst thing you can do, don't cut, don't cut this chicken too long. Uh, if you overcook it, it takes away. It needs to be tender, the chicken. I'm going to stop the camera for just a minute. All right, we got my second batch kitchen. And it'll be done in a few minutes. I'll show you what all this is going to look like. Like I said, it doesn't take too long. Let it cook. You don't have to touch it. When you first put it in, when you first put it in here, uh, just let it set there. Let that egg rise. Can you see this? That's what we got right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fried chicken. So I'm going to get ready to pull my second batch. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're pulling out my last batch of chicken. I said when the meat turns white, so here, uh, when the meat is white, it's done. It's ready to eat. Don't overcook your chicken. Don't overcook. This stuff is so good. So there's a lot of chicken out here. I'll eat a little bit tonight, and I'll eat some. Uh, this is a good breakfast for me here in China, it's like before I go to class. See, I'm going to check another piece just to be safe. Look how beautiful that chicken is. Pretty and white. Turn the fire off. Turn the light off. And boys and girls, teach Kenny. I'm going to eat some chicken. Look at it. <laughs> My camera about fell off. But anyhow, look here. I'm going to eat some chicken. Beautiful. Look at here. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'll see you later. Hope you learned something. Cook some chicken. You students, cook some chicken for your parents, okay? Say bye-bye.